We have no choice this time. What's a she pirate to do during a pandemic quarantine? Find a map, gather the balabushta wenches and prepare to stow away in rough waters. You heard me right. I'm a bitchy, witchy, Yiddishy, Latina cholent with black bean scarfing she pirate. Got a problem with any of that? If you do, you can take it up with me now. You think I'm some south of the border cockamamie you can stop with a gringo wall? Let's see what you think when I tie you to the ship's mast. She pirates know no borders. Why do you think my blood is boiling over. I'm making this <clears throat> maiden voyage to New York, to Miami, right after that hurricane that no one can pronounce. I've seen more tropical tempests named Maria in my escapades across the Caribbean than you can count disgruntled voters in Florida. No cruise ships down there to pilfer this season. So it's time to be a hired sword of a different kind to make sure we get this nasty thing under control. And I will just jump ship in Baltimore's port. Of course, I'll do my civic duty with onboard quarantine. Now, it's time for some ass-kicking action. What? You never heard of a she-pirate who curses like a herniated pickle man from the Lower East Side? Well, guess what? We were here all along. The ugly, the bad, and the oh, screw the good, you can get that at Disney when they reopen. <laughs> chauvinist swashbucklers. You really think I'm going to prick my finger on a spindle and wait for some prince's kiss to save me? Well, I've got a finger for Disney and I have another uh. finger for the prince. <laughs> Look, I know who I am and where I came from. Like every other Schwitzen immigrant in this country, <laughs> I am a descendant of an earlier Shana the Yiddish pirate. I'm proud of my chutzpah. I any proud pilot pirate would do. I took her name. She was my great, great. Great, great, grand mishpucha, someone who got kicked out of Spain, stowed away on one of Columbus's ships that was taken over by Caribbean pirates and ended up in Puerto Rico with nothing else other than this gold hairpin. Used it to gouge out the eye of one of the pirates who tried to rape her in the galley. Mamzer got what was coming to him. Of course, this also led to a whole new fashion statement among the pirates who started wearing eye patches just to look <laughs> like him. <laughs> 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 Now, I'm headed inside the District of Columbia to ride the abandoned ghost ship they call the Metro Red Line. I'm ready to do battle with the devil himself. Think about it. When you are headed into a sword fight with a dragon, you don't bring a sword, you bring your biggest badass daughter of a bitch who can breathe fire back at that dragon. And 
not just issue an injunction in the probate court. What? You think that naughty Yiddish women acting like men need to look like Yentl and sing like Streisand? <laughs> well, I can't sing. But I have the matzo balls to make any Meshuggah walk the plank <laughs> who thinks he can mess with me and my sisters this election year. Hey, capital city with a capital oive, I'm gunning for you. I'm looking you straight in the eyes above your masks and below the penciled brows. Climb aboard the she ship before we set sail and make some herstory. <laughs> You're still nail biting that some arsehole is going to try to steal our moment and hijack my ship? Let them try. I've got a plan for that. <laughs> 